my name is Owls and welcome back to another sim video. We are continuing on with the 33 day challenge and today we are on day 7 and we are making a hybrid, make a hybrid sim. So, uh, I didn't know what kind of hybrid I wanted to make. I could have made like any kind of hybrid I wanted. So, I made a hybrid angel demon, I guess. Kind of like a no-brainer, you know? I think a lot of people would make a hybrid angel demon. <laughs> Anyways, so let me give you guys a little story of this sim. She is half angel and half demon. Her father and mother fell in love even though they were not meant to be together. On a full moon, she was born half her mother and half her father. Her mother was a demon and her father was an angel. She is more like an angel than a demon, but sometimes her demon side comes out. Her parents were punished for making a hybrid angel-demon child and was sentenced to death. So yeah, she kind of has a tragic background because her parents were sentenced to death as soon as she was born and they were trying to decide what they wanted to do with the hybrid child, if they were going to kill her or they didn't know what they were going to do with her, but they decided to keep her alive and they wanted to use her for some malicious stuff. But she ran away into the human world where she could be kind of normal and be actually a person and not be used for malicious acts and stuff like that. So she is now in the human world and her name is Aurora Gother. I don't know how to say her last name. I'm hoping that I'm saying her last name right. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm super sorry. She wants to find her soulmate like her mother and her father did. They found each other and they fell in love and that they were each other's soulmates even though one was an angel and the other one was a demon. And she wants the same thing with, that her father and mother had. She wants to find the one and settle down with them and just fall madly in love like her mother and father did. She is a loner, even though she wants to find the one, she is a loner because she went through a lot before she got to where she is. She was kid, like kind of kidnapped as a baby from her parents after they were maliciously killed and she was pretty much used all the way up until her young adult life. So she hasn't really had the greatest like experience with people and stuff like that. So she became a loner because she's afraid to let people in. But I think if she found the right guy or woman, she would definitely open up to them and let them in. But she is definitely a loner. She is good because she has her mother's side. So she is more like an angel. I know I kind of... I made i dressed her up in black and white because she is half angel and half demon so she's kind of like yin and yang mixed together but she is mostly good than evil but if she is pushed the wrong way her demon side will come out she doesn't really like being around evil people because she was pretty much surrounded by evil people her whole entire life she was pretty much torn between evil and good. She, people on the good side and people on the demon side kept fighting over her pretty much when she was a little to because they wanted her to be a demon or the angels wanted her to be an angel. So she was pretty much thrown in the middle of good and evil and they're always fighting over her and telling her what she should do and, what, and who she should be and stuff like that. But she is mostly good and she is deciding that she wants to be her own person and she doesn't want to take and be a demon or an angel. She just wants to be who she wants to be, which is herself pretty much. And she is a art lover. She loves art. Um, when she was living with the demons for a while, she loved their art because it was kind of dark and mysterious and she really liked it. And then when she was kidnapped again by the angels, 
she also fell in love with their art. Their art was very beautiful and very light and colorful. So she grew to love the dark in everything and she also grew to love all the light and everything. So she is a mix of good and evil. So she can see the good and the bad and everything so yeah that is kind of my little story i gave her i hope you guys enjoyed it I'm, i was trying to make the story up as i went but i don't know i um i tried my best at the story i hope you guys liked it if you guys did make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like how she came out and if you like the story i gave her there will be pictures at the end of the video so make sure you guys go and check them out if you like but yeah, this is where I'm going to leave the video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want to. And ring that bell. And I'll see all you beautiful night owls in the next video. Goodbye. Something I am